What's going on you guys? So I hope you guys are having a great morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you guys may be watching this video. Um, as you guys can probably tell from the title and thumbnail, I got a new part in for the 86. I don't know why I waited this long to get this mod. I really, I really wouldn't call it a mod, but like this part, because it's really, it's honestly super cheap, and it should be a really simple process to install it too. So with that being said, I'll get it unboxed and I'll show you guys what's inside. I hope you guys can see this all right. Just want to be careful not to rip anything up inside the box, cause any damage to it. So, dang. What do you guys think? So, what these are is. I'll show you guys how they look. What these are is they're pretty much clear side markers for the uh, my 86. Right now it has the stock like amber ones and they don't look horrible, but I feel like these are just gonna complement the white on the wheels and it's just gonna complement the color of the card a lot better than this amber looking color will. So what I'll do is I'll get the uh, wrapping and everything else taken off of this and I'll show you guys how you install these onto the car. All right, you guys, so what I'm gonna start off by doing first is just opening up the car and turning the uh, front left wheel to the right. That way I have access to the fender liner underneath. The wheel turned. That should be good right there. Put the handbrake back up. Now that we got the wheel turned, it's kind of hard for you guys to see, sorry about that, but there's gonna be three clips. There's one on top right here, another one in the middle right there, and one last final one on the bottom. What you're gonna to wanna to do is get a flathead screwdriver, and there's gonna be a little hole right in the middle. I, sorry, I'm really trying to get the best footage as I can for you guys, but there's a little hole right in the middle of these three tabs. What you're gonna to wanna to do is just press it down with the flathead screwdriver, and then go behind the actual side marker right here and you're gonna get the fender liner and just kind of peel it back. Once you peel it back, these clips should automatically fall out. So I'll pick up the camera once I have all the clips taken out. So now that we got the actual fender liner all peeled back, what there's gonna be is there's gonna be an actual clip right here that you're gonna to wanna to have to undo. And then there's also a 10 millimeter right there that you're gonna to have to unbolt. That's what actually holds the uh, side marker in. So I'll get those two undone and I'll pick up the camera once everything's taken off. All right, so now that we got the 10 millimeter taken off, to actually get the, the side markers out, there's two little tabs. There's this one right here, and then there's this one right there. You're gonna have to like press down and out at the same time. I'd advise you take one of them out at a time, just like this. Got the first one popped out, so take it out at the top. And then try and do this with the camera in my hand. Sorry, you guys. Just like so. And then get the bottom one out. Ooh, almost just dropped it. <laughs> Alrighty. So now that we got everything taken out, I'll get the other one out of the box and I'll go ahead and get it installed onto the car. So when I bought these, I was under the impression that they were like OEM, Subaru, Toyota side markers. But in the box, it comes with these instructions claiming that I have to do some modifying to the actual uh, plug for the lights to use the bulb. I'm hoping I don't need to do any modifying to make this work. Um, but what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and start to get them installed back into the car. And before I fully install them, I'll make sure that they work first by turning on the lights. And if they don't, I guess we'll take them back off and do what's on the instructions to make them work, I guess. Can't lie and tell me that this isn't always so satisfying doing something like that. Oh, so nice. These things look great. I really hope that they uh, work all right, because if not, I'll be pretty disappointed, but if not, we can always get some new ones. So I'm pretty sure you use all the original hardware for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get it placed back into the same spots that it would normally go to. It's good that you hear the clicking noise once it's fully in. So, 
Wow, those look really, really nice. Really happy with how those look. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try and get this plugged in real quick and um, see if this works. Which it's not looking like it's plugging in right. So I'm assuming that these are gonna have to use some modifying to get these to work. I'm gonna turn on the car and see what happens. Yeah, it didn't come on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them taken out and do what's necessary to get these things to work because I really want them to turn on and everything. I just buy them just to be clear. Go ahead and get these things taken back out now. Hopefully it's not pain yet. No, there you go. Apparently I have to modify the fins on this to make it work because it won't, oh wait. There we go. Oh, the only issue is... Oh shit. I shouldn't have done that. I'm gonna fucking break something now, bro. So, I've been at it for like 30 minutes trying to get this thing to work. Um, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I've tried everything to get this thing to work and I just, I don't know what the issue is really. I don't know why I can't get this thing to work. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know if this thing is supposed to go all the way down or what, but if it is, it's not. It's not going all the way down. I'll try this one last time, and if it don't work, it don't work. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to just do it without the actual without the actual bulbs in it, which really sucks because I bought these because the actual style of them was really sick. And I was trying to get LED bulbs to replace the amber in them. That way it's a full white light on the side of the car. But if these bulbs aren't gonna even work then. Oh, no way. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bro. Let's go. They work. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. What do you guys think? Let me press them in though, that way you guys have a better... Damn. Yeah, like I was saying, I wanna get white LED bulbs for these to match like the wheels and everything. I, would look, I think that's gonna look sick. And it will kinda match the uh, DRLs that are on the headlight as well, so... I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing fully installed onto the car, and I'll pick up the camera once everything's fully done. Now that we got the first one done, what we're gonna do is go ahead, move on to the one on the passenger side. Sorry if I'm a bit sweaty, you guys, right now. It literally is, let's see, let me look at the temperature right now. It's 94 out, and what does it say? It feels like, it feels like 102. Are you serious, bro? Come on, man, I'm trying to work in my fucking hot ass garage right now, and it's 94 fucking degrees out, bro. This is ridiculous, I literally, just took a shower and I'm all fucking sweaty again, bro. <laughs> uh, so, I already showed you guys the process on the first one. What I'll do is I'll just get a time lapse going of me getting this one uninstalled. And once I uh, put the new clear one in, I'll pick up the camera again. It seems like literally no matter what I do, it can be as simple as doing a side marker install. I always have to run into some issue. I literally cannot get this 10 millimeter bolt off. I don't know what the issue is here, but this thing is absolutely stuck on there.
finally fucking got it, bro. Finally fucking got it. Let's go, bro. Pain in the ass. Get this top one off now. I got this new one now. Hopefully, I can get this shit to work without having to fuck with it too much. So, what I'm gonna do is plug it in, pray that it works. Like this. I don't want it to scratch up the paint. So I'll just put one side in for now. Go around and turn the lights back on. Hopefully they turn on. Please, please, please tell me they work. Let's fucking go, bro. Oh, I didn't have to fuck with this one at all. Let's go. That makes this so much better. Alright. So, I'm gonna go ahead. And put the 10 millimeter back on. Now that it's in. Put this thing back on. Also, you guys just want to make sure that you guys don't over tighten anything while you're doing this because you don't want anything to snap. So that should be good. I don't think that's going anywhere. So I'll go ahead now, get the three clips put back into place, just like so. And to install these, what you're gonna wanna do, sorry for the messy hands, you're gonna wanna just push up on it like this, and you press in and then push down, just like so. So press up until this thing is fully on top of it like this. Press it in and then push it down, just like so. Those things aren't going anywhere. Hell yeah. I think this looks fantastic. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that the clear side markers look good or would you prefer the stock amber bulbs better? I love how these turned out. I just really wish that they had LED bulbs inside them instead of the amber ones, but that's nothing I can do about that now. If I really wanted to, I'm pretty sure they may have some at like AutoZone or O'Reilly's or I could probably order them online as well. They're probably only like five, 10 bucks. So if you guys are interested in doing a really cheap mod to your BRZ or 86, I would 100% recommend these. I don't know why I waited so long to get these for mine. Now that we got everything finished up, what I'm gonna do now is pull the car out and we'll go to a uh, photo location that's nearby. That way I can show you guys how the clear side markers turned out. So with that being said, So here they is, you guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Man. In my opinion, the clear side markers, even though it's such a small little subtle thing, makes such a huge difference. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll get some cinematics for you guys. That way you guys can see how it looks with the new clear side markers.
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think about the clear side markers down in the comments below. Let me know down in the comments which one you guys prefer. I honestly think that the clear looks a lot better than the amber one does. That's just my personal opinion though. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like down below. It helps me out so much. Subscribe if you're new. That way you guys can stay up to date on all the content that I'm always putting out. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.